So one day you take a picture at night and you realize that your picture is all grainy and blurry. So you go on the internet, you search how to take good low light pictures. You then end up telling you, get a tripod, a speed booster, a prime lens. Next thing you know, you spent your life saving on your pictures and they still suck. Okay, so let's say you're a cheap guy and you can't really afford all these things. Or you're just smart and decide to save your money on more important things than camera gear. Then, how can you take good low light pictures with just a kit lens? Step number one, find the light. Okay, so this is quite straightforward. If you're in a low light situation, then you need to find a source of light to help you with your struggles. This could be a fire or street light. Really, it doesn't matter. As long as there's a light, your picture will be better. The more light you can find, the better. Step number two, don't be scared of ISO. What ISO do you think this picture was taken in? Well, it was ISO 6400. Here's the deal, most people are just scared of using high ISOs for their cameras, but trust me, for the most part, your camera can handle it. If your ISO is too low, then you'll need to compensate with a low shutter speed, and that will just ruin your shot. Step number 3. Expose to the right. A lot of people will underexpose their image so they can keep a good ISO level, and then they expose it back to normal in post-production. But let me tell you why this is wrong. You see, if you have an underexposed image and expose it back to normal, then you'll introduce noise in the shadows. But if you overexpose an image and you expose it back to normal, then you actually do the opposite. So you reduce the grain levels, but the drawback is you'll lose a bit of dynamic range. But if you're taking a picture at night, you're not really trying to keep the details in your sky, because well, it's completely dark anyways. So underexposing your images back to normal will only give you the benefits of better noise performance. Step number four the elbow stabilizer trick. Okay, so let's say all else fails and you really need to use a low shutter speed. Then you can use the elbow stabilizer trick. Place your hand on your shoulder and then place your camera on your elbow. This helps stabilizing your shot so that you can shoot with a lower shutter speed. Anyways, I hope this helps. Now go shoot some pictures.